Hello, in this video I will be talking about the combined gas law. The combined gas law describes how pressure, temperature, and volume of a gaseous system are all related. Uh, it combines the three previous gas laws into one mathematical relationship. The actual mathematical relationship is listed on the bottom of this slide. It is P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. So you can see that there is pressure, volume, and temperature on each side of the equation. Uh, the subscripts 1 on the left hand side indicate that these are initial values well, the subscript of 2 indicate that those would be final values, or values after some change to the system happens. Again, when we look at the word definition of the combined gas law, we just see that the amount of gas is constant, but the pressure, volume, and temperature could all change in this, in this situation. Looking at a sample problem, if a balloon has a volume of 20.0 liters, on the ground with standard temperature and pressure, what would the volume of the balloon be at 0.375 atmospheres and negative 26 degrees Celsius? So we can see that there are more than two variables changing here. We have a volume, temperature, and pressure. As there are three variables involved, it is appropriate to use the combined gas law. So, we take a look at the combined gas law and see that there are six total variables that we need to fill in information for, uh, and one of them we're trying to solve. So, we have P1, V1, T1, P2, V2, T2. And we'll start by looking at the initial pressure. We see from the question that it says standard pressure, um, and so we have three options. We can either choose atmospheres, kilopascals or millimeters of mercury. I've chosen atmospheres because the pressure or P2 after the change happens is in atmospheres and this will save us a conversion later on. So the initial pressure is standard pressure and it's 1.0 atmospheres. The initial volume is listed in the problem as 20.0 liters so we can read that in the first sentence. And the initial temperature is standard pressure, which we'll immediately put into kelvins as 273 kelvins. Now we have to go to the second part of the problem, the after part, the subscripts of two. And the change that is happening in this problem is the, vo um, the balloon is changing volume when it goes to a new uh, pressure and temperature. So these new conditions are what we need to insert into the twos. So pressure 2 is listed as 0.375 atmospheres. Volume 2 is what the question is asking us to calculate, and negative 26 degrees Celsius is the temperature. However, we need to use Kelvin for temperature in the gas law problems. So we will take negative 26, add 273 to get a value of 247 Kelvin. We have now determined what all of the components for these variables are, except one of them, which is enough to calculate what the question is asking. So we take these uh, different values for the variables and insert them into the combined gas law. So we will take 1.0 times 20 and put that over 273 um, to complete the left side of the equation. Then on the top half of the subscripts 2, we have 0.375 atmospheres times V2. V2 is the value that we're trying to calculate and set that over 247 Kelvin. When we solve for V2, we see that the answer is 48 liters. Some helpful hints uh, for the combined gas law is you actually now only need to memorize one gas law. Um, you do not need to know Boyle's, Charles, and the pressure temperature law all individually. If you look at the equation for the combined gas law, if we hold temperature constant, we can take it out of the equation and we're left with P1V1 equals P2V2. So by holding temperature constant, which is the definition of applying Boyle's law, we can see that we are simply left with Boyle's law. 
The same can be done for Charles and the pressure temperature relationship if we hold either pressure constant or volume constant. If there are more than two types of variables in a problem and the amount of gas is held constant, then the combined gas law is where you want to start. It is most likely the appropriate law to use to solve the scenario. Finally, check the comments for further practice problems.